Kenigma Connect. No code, no effort. Today, we show one example of a service now tracing this queue test integration. First, a trained request is created in ServiceNow. A put to the status scheduled ensures the creation of the partner request in QTest. These two entities are linked bidirectionally, so that all data always remains consistent, no matter on which side you change. After running through the QTest test procedures, QTest defects are created. These defects create ServiceNow defects that are associated with the original ServiceNow change request. Again, if changes are made on either side, bidirectional integration keeps the data consistent. In the current example, a change request is first created in ServiceNow. Approval of the change request moves it to the scheduled status. A status change to implement ensures automatic creation of the queue test requirement. Among other things, this automatically maintains the URL linking the requirement. A bidirectional integration ensures data consistency at any time. Here, an example of an update in the requirements description. This update is transferred in real time to the short description of the ServiceNow change request. An execution of the test procedure ensures that queue test defects can be created in case of corresponding test results. Here, you can see the automatically created ServiceNow incident, which is linked to the original ServiceNow change request. For example, the correction of the typo is synchronized in real time. Here, you can see the synchronized correction and the URL of the QTest defect. The integration shown here addresses only one possible data model. With nearly no effort, at least service now request items can be linked to QTest requirements. The same applies to QTest integrations with Clearer, Azure DevOps, Broadcom Ready, SubSolution Manager, Charm, Focused Build for SubSolution Manager, or SubCloud ALM. Everything out of the box via no-code customizing.